Hello everybody. In this tutorial we're going to show you how to calculate the sine, cosine, and tangent using Python. The first thing we're going to do is import some modules. So let's import math. Let's import numpy. And let's import fraction using from fractions import fraction. Okay. So let's start with sine and notice that we're going to use the module math with sine and that returns the sine of x in radians. So if you want to input degrees instead of radians, we'll show you how to do that as well. Let's create our first sine variable, sine radians. Let's use our math module and access sine and we're going to use what's equivalent to 30 degrees. So that in radians, I believe, is 0 0.523599, okay? So now let's go ahead and use a print to display this, print. Let's put in a little note. So sine of 0 0.523599 radians. Let's put in a little note that that is equivalent to 30 degrees is comma put in our variable and what you're gonna see is this will print out quite a large number so we're gonna use round to give us something that is a little bit more readable and something you would expect to see so let's use round and put in our variable and let's round the number to two places Okay, let's see here. We need a comma here. Let's go ahead and see if we can run this and see what we get. The sine of 0 0.523599 radians, equivalent to 30 degrees, is 0.5. You can see it's quite a large number. So that's why we put in the rounded and we get just a simple 0 0.5, which is more of an answer you would probably expect. Okay, so now let's say you wanted to, instead of inputting radians, you want to be able to input your degrees number instead of this 0.523599, you might be more used to just, or more familiar with putting in 30 degrees. So let's show you how you could do that. So let's go ahead and create our variable sine degrees. Let's use our math module and access the sine. And again, we want to use the math module and access radians. And this might be a little bit counterintuitive at first, but just note that the math.radians converts angle x from degrees to radians, which allows you to input your parameter as degrees. Okay, so we're going to put in 30 degrees. Now let's go ahead and display this. Use our print sine of 30 degrees is comma, put in our sine degrees variable. Another comma, let's put in a rounded note string comma, use round put in sine degrees and comma two to round to two places. Let's print this out, see what we get. Sine of 30 degrees is 0.499 repeating and rounded you get 0.5. So essentially you get the same answer in either case using the radians input or the degrees input, okay? So now let's say that you wanted to see the answer as a ratio or a fraction. To do that, we can use our previous input, the from fractions import fraction. So let's just go ahead and use a print statement to display. Let's put in a little note here. Sine of 30 degrees ratio is comma, type out fraction, parens, put in your sine degrees variable, and what you're going to see is if you print this out as is, you get quite a large number. So let's show you what you get. 
you can see sine of 30 degrees ratio is, and you get this great big huge fraction. So to fix that or turn that into something that's a little bit more readable or what you might expect, you can use dot limit denominator, and don't forget the parens right there. Now let's print this out and we should get one half. And we do. Sine of 30 degrees ratio is one half. Okay? So let's do one more example for the sine and let's use the NumPy module in this case. So let's create our variable sine with NumPy equals NumPy access the sine and in this case we're going to use NumPy again and we're going to access the degrees to radians. We can just put in our degrees. Now let's print this to display it. Put in a little note sign of 30 degrees using NumPy is comma. Let's go ahead and use our fraction again. Put in our variable sign with NumPy and we're going to use the limit denominator again to give us a, a ratio or, or fraction that's more readable. So let's print this out see what we get. Sine of 30 degrees using NumPy is one half. Okay? So now let's go ahead and move on to cosine and tangent, but just know that most of the examples we showed here for the sine will carry over to the cosine and the tangent. Okay, so let's create our cosine variable, cosine. Let's just do degrees. Use the math module, access cosine, and use the math module again to access the radians and let's put in 60 degrees. Let's go ahead and print to display. Put in our, our note, cosine of 60 degrees is, comma, let's use our round, cosine degrees, round to two places, and put in the or string, and we're also gonna show it as a fraction. And don't forget the limit, the limit denominator if you want to show it as a more readable fraction. Let's print this and see what we get. Cosine of 60 degrees is 0.5 or 1 half. So for our last example, let's show you how to calculate the tangent. Create our tangent variable, tangent degrees. Use our math module, tangent math module again and use the radians. Let's put in 45 degrees and let's print with a note tangent of 45 degrees is let's use our round and in this case the answer should just be one so we don't really need to do a ratio tangent degrees round it to two places. Let's run this and see what we get. Tangent of 45 degrees is one. Okay, that is it for this tutorial on how to calculate sine, cosine, and tangent. We'll be doing many more Python tutorials in the near future. Join us for those and we'll see you next time.